You want to get into 3D animation, but you're wondering what 3D software you should learn. You don't want to spend hours and hours learning a tool only to discover later that it's outdated or irrelevant. Now I can tell you having worked professionally as a 3D artist for close to a decade now, there are some clear winners, but it will also depend on the industry it is kind of like learning a language. You would not learn French if you were planning on traveling to the Philippines. So the way I'm going to approach this question is to be looking at those different industries where 3D animation is used and see if there are any overlaps. To be clear, this is not a video about the easiest 3D software to learn. There are plenty of more intuitive 3D packages out there that you could learn. But my recommendation is to start with a tool that will not only equip you from a creative standpoint, but also professionally. So let's jump into it. Of course, I can't cover everything, but I will try to give you some guidelines from the major industries. For 3D modeling and animation in the film and television industry, auto Desk Maya and Maxon Cinema 4D are the two popular choices. Houdini is a clear winner for simulations and visual effects, and ZBrush is the industry standard for sculpting creatures and characters. I'm not sure if I would advise learning ZBrush or Houdini as your first 3D software, unless you really know that you want to become a specialist. I personally would lean more towards Maya because it will be applicable to the most studios that you might want to work at. It is also used heavily in the world of commercials, so if you know no Maya, you will be able to work in both industries. But if you're hoping to steer more towards game development, Unity and Unreal Engine are really the way to go, with the caveat that a lot of the 3D modeling and assets are built in Maya or Blender. Blender is a great free alternative to Maya that is used for animation and in smaller indie game studios. If you're interested in architecture, a lot of architects will be using a mix of Rhino, AutoCAD, and Revit, or SketchUp. But specifically in architecture visualization, which is where a 3D art plugs into that whole equation, people are more often than not using Unreal Engine and Maya as a close second. So I just threw a bunch of industries at you, but you might just not know yet which you would prefer or maybe you want to keep your options open. In that case, two softwares really sift to the top and without question, they are Maya and Unreal Engine. Maya is the industry standard for almost every field and Unreal Engine is really the new kid on the block and is going to only grow with time. Honestly, having knowledge of Unreal Engine on your resume is going to really give you a huge leg up. I actually have a free training on Unreal Engine, which you can find in the description, but let me know your questions in the comments or if you work in one of these fields or one I haven't mentioned, definitely let us know and I will see you in the next one.